What's up, citizens? Welcome back to my channel. I'm your host, MC Adventure City. Welcome to episode... Episode 17 of Age of Engineering, where I've made two new IC2 machines that I probably should have made a while ago just to have them. Those, of course, being the fluid solid canning machine. It just killed our bat box, didn't it? Uh, let's go ahead and... Uh, I should probably also... Never mind. I was going to say I should probably also... Um, this can hold 16,000 EU. Wow. I should probably... You know what I might do? Um, not sure yet if I should make a transformer. Well, I do want to get into overclocking for a overclocker upgrades, but uh, those take coolant cells, which require coolant cells, which coolant is made with, uh, yeah, universal fluid cells. Which coolant? Coolant. You have to get with um. I don't know. I never understood why JEI doesn't work with them that well. This I will insert. Oh god. Okay, there we go. We're filling up with water. Should be it. Yep, there we go. There's our ore washing plant. I don't know how much EU this uses per tick, but it's supposedly an LV, a tier one machine, right? So, yeah. In contrast, of course, to the thermal centrifuge, which is a tier two machine. I might actually redo our. Um, power setup so that this goes into a transformer so that this goes into the CESU which we can then transform into um, um, tier one power yeah, one thing I am going to do though is make a fluid tank so we can store lots of nutrient distillation I'm trying to make the inventory panel. Which requires a fluid tank, as well as iron bars. Do we have any iron bars just sitting around here? Yes, we do. Let me go ahead and get out of our storage, grab our one glass. Smalt it up. weird. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and make this, which will store our nutrient distillation. So let me input, and I will make this pull push. Um, now, one thing I'm going to need to work on, because I'm aiming for the inventory panel, that's not going to happen this episode, I can already tell. Given that we're five minutes in of raw footage, I mean raw footage, but I want to get this finished tonight, so I don't know if I did this on camera, the Empower. I think I did that off camera. Empower semi-automation. Except for the fact that I don't have a buffer chest, because I think I ran... Did I run out of item conduits, or was it wood that I was... Out of. It was item conduits, actually. Yeah, it was. We grab one of these and one iron. Item conduits. Uh, get a pulsating iron. Oh. 
called. Huh. Interesting. We haven't gotten one of those before. So let's slot it. Um, yeah. But anyways, that's done. What was I doing? Oh yeah, I was looking for looking for oh, yeah, the rest of our conduit binder just to have more item conduits since we used a bunch of them of course Binder away. And the other conduits. And now let's figure out what we should do next infrastructure wise. Let me go to the guide here. Hmm. I probably could go ahead and make a one chamber reactor, just a simple reactor. I mean, yeah. Let's take a look at our reactor. Not the reactor chamber, but the nuclear reactor, which takes three reactor chambers and we need a bunch more lead, I think. Generator. Which I'll just rip up. Where's our old original generator? We'll do that. And then this is going to take... Uh, Three reactor chambers, so a bunch of iron. So the reactor chambers, as well as so 12 plus 48 lead. Okay, we can get that actually. So I'm gonna, how much iron do we need? A six more iron and, oh, we need an advanced circuit, oh boy. <laughs> I mean, we have the ability make most of this stuff. It's just I don't think we have the, the fish. <laughs> I wonder if we could do an AFK fish farm in this room. Uh, okay. Let's see, can we convert this at all to, to the other kind of fish? No. Looks like we're going fishing then. We can find our fishing rod. There it is. Take a bit. Maybe not. Anyways, I'll leave that there. I wish there was a way to automatically fish in, in this pack. I'm not sure there might be a way to, to AFK fish, but can we do this? No. There's no way to automate fish. Unless there's some sort of auto fishing machine that we can make doesn't have JEI integration, but um, yeah, so for the Empowered Payless Crystals, which is what I'm going for next, which I'm going to need a block, I'm going to get a whole block, so we need Prismarine Sharp Blue Stone Crystal, which takes a sand, a dirt, and some blue slime, a sand, a dirt, and some blue slime. Crystal, uh, it doesn't, it's just this. There we go. And then this, what else do we need for the empowered uh, prismarine, which is another quartz and an atomic reconstructor, and then um, cobalt, which we have. Another quartz, getting low on, dangerously low on. Mm. 
mining, prismarine, coal, and soil. So the soil, I should really, yeah, I'm gonna set up some of that stuff to be voided, but um, let's go ahead and smelt our, that, and then we're gonna need how much more? Seven. More of these. Palace crystals, or palace, however you want to say it. Anyways, this is a block. And I mean, the only reason I'm able to do this now is because we have a much bigger um, energy buffer than we did before. And when we first got the Empower, which we only had the immersive engineering HV capacitor when we first got the Empowerer. Okay, cobalt. One, two, three, and four. And now I'll go ahead and get one, two, three, and four. It's going to use up a lot of power, but oh well. It's going to absolutely just, it's going to use eight million RF. So while we wait on that, I'm gonna go ahead and start with the other stuff. Like how much iron do we need? Process say eight iron, eight more iron. Okay, so I know we're gonna need 48 lead. How much? Just get 16 more iron. And I'm gonna sleep first before I can do that. Yeah, the reason why I wanna make the reactor, I mean it's probably not gonna be really doable until we can get um let me actually speaking of which where's our um rubber tree tap we need a hazmat suit hazmat suit six four six And six. So we need six. Or six. And six. So that is six. Okay, let's go ahead and. Uh, I know there's a way to store. Um, I'm just gonna get as much of this as we can. But, anyways, so that's gotta go there. I'm gonna get uh, eight of these. Is there a way to go? Uh, let me take a look at at IC2. Figure out, I swear there was a way, at least in 1.7 there was, to store radioactive items. This isn't used for anything, that's fine. Anyways, um, we need our, I remember there being like some sort of uh, briefcase or something for radioactive items from when I played Infinity Evolved. Radi Urine. about containment box. Oh, it's called the containment box. Which we're gonna need additional lead for that. So let's go ahead and get ourselves one, two, three. And I'll start smelting that up. And then we need, the, where's the containment box? That just takes a chest, okay. Start extracting that stuff as well. And then our the rest of our sticky resin, I will put in there, followed by um I mean this is for the fluid reactor for later later on. We will need that later on, I think. 
for the pack, for later in the pack. But uh, so we're gonna need three reactor chambers just to get the reactor block. Um, so this is 36 lead plates plus 12 lead plates. Yeah, that's 48. But, um, you know, let me actually go ahead and process how much uh, all this uranium, how much do we need for the design that was posted here? We need six single fuel rods. Fuel rod, uranium, so single fuel rods. Can't, uh, We need one enriched uranium nuclear fuel for each fuel rod, I'm pretty sure. So we're gonna need six of these, which means 18 um, tiny piles of uranium-235. 36 uranium-235. So 18 to nine, really effectively like five uranium ore. but I want to be able to run multiple cycles of it. So let's just process all of it. Let's see. So we got to run it through the ore washing plant as well. Let me get our hazmat suit made. What else will that require? Um, yeah, and so. Hazmat helmet. So we need rubber. An orange dye, oh boy. Do we have any dandelions just sitting around here? I don't think we do. Let's go look for some then. There'll probably be some in the forest. There's canola. It looks like, it looks like just a cluster of dandelions, but it's not, it's canola, of course. Hey, it's a pig. Speaking of dandelions, there they are. Probably should make an actually additions crusher at some point here, but This is 10 dandelions, of course. And how many do we need for, we need four of a bit orange dye. So this two of these, dandelion yellow. We need one rose bush. Get four orange dye. So let's go ahead and get one of these hazmat suit. Uh, those leggings, we're going to need one for the helmet. We're also going to need a glass. Let's get our storage. a wool. Easy enough, right? Oh, string, there it is. There we go. I'll put our extra rubber away. I think we will need... I'm just going to go ahead and throw this out now. We still have some lead process here. I'll put this away in there. And then this iron 
I'll get grab how many do we need? Twenty-four plates plus reactor. Twenty-four plates. Twenty-five. So, so we need twenty-five of these in the metal former rolled. We get that. Start crushing lead. Also, for the other stuff to put in the reactor, we're going to need some stuff. We need um, heat, overclock heat vents, reactor heat vents, heat vents. So those are expensive. Those take iron. We're going to need some what kind of heat exchanger? Component heat exchanger, which are heat exchangers, which are not too bad. We need two component heat exchangers and then the component heat vent and overclocked heat vents. So we're gonna need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Wait a minute, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Wait, what? Five and five, yeah, ten. Ten heat vents and uh, two heat exchangers to start, of course. Let me go ahead and um question though is where do I put my reactor? It's telling me just to throw it right back here. But that's probably not the best idea. Oh this is done. Good. This is going to, yeah. So we should also, another thing we should work on soon is getting ready to go to the end, but that'll, I'll probably have to save that for the next couple episodes. really just a waiting game for the stuff. I mean, we're gonna need how many lead plates? Uh, how many lead plates do we need for the... We don't need any lead for that, but we do need for the overclock heat vents. Heat vents are just a lot of iron, copper, and gold, so component is a Tin, a bit more iron. So, uh, so the reactor.
question is, how much power is this going to use? Oh, uh, well, figure it out. Um, this needs to be back in rolling mode. So we need 52. Do I have some lead in one of these chests already? Anyways, let's go ahead and uh, start metal forming 52 lead plates. Wow. And then after that, I will ore wash um, five of, of uh, silver. We need uh, to ore wash. Uranium, which we can then thermal centrifuge. We need nine of these things to be. I'm going to throw that in there for now. And then, once this gets up to 12. Well, once we get this done, let's actually test it with one. See how much power it takes. Oh, it's draining pretty fast. How much power does this drain? Let me actually cut it off back up. Yeah, it'll fill back up. It, it drains it pretty fast, so I might want to make a transformer so I can hook this up to the same line. So transform. So we're going to need this, which is just, you know, I'll have to wait for this to finish, though. This to finish, that is. Yeah, it's just a waiting game, though, so, you know. We got a whole, whole, um, basic calculator for that. Wow. Is reinforced dirt used in anything besides... Reinforced dirt bricks. That's weird. Whatever. Anyways, so the reactor lead plates can be used to get this. There we go. Three reactor chambers. And then we continue waiting. Anything else we can do while we wait? Not really that I can think of, but. Yeah. You know what I might do? I might get a, uh, what's his face? A transformer upgrade. So I can use the, yeah, oh boy, that's a bit expensive though. Oh, not too bad. It's actually just some iron. The gold is iron, copper, rubber, and gold. So yeah, I'm gonna. I might move, do that actually. But that means I'll have to move my ender our uh, reservoir over. So what were the conduits? Or I'll just make more. Conduits. We'll just have to see. Yep, I'm going to cut and come back once we have 
all the lead plates and other stuff we need. Be back in a bit. And we're back. I have uh, calculated the materials and also gotten the stuff needed for the reactor itself. But I've calculated the materials needed for all the things that go in the reactor, and it's a lot. We need 102 iron. I mean, we have everything. We just don't have enough copper is the one thing we don't have enough of. 28 gold, 26 tin, 102 iron, 108 copper, and also some rubber for and redstone. Not much, though. Wait a minute. I miscalculated the tin, didn't I? Because we needed... How much tin? 15. It was no, 6 plus 20. Yeah, I forgot we needed tin for this. How much tin do we need for the 10 electric motors? 20 tin, I'm casing so 10 more tin, so 36. Let's go ahead and grab a couple more tin. Okay, so we have 20. Get that extra tin. And then. Oh, wait, I have to sleep. Um, and I'm going to end the episode here. We won't actually finish making the reactor just because I want to get this episode done. So, uh, yeah. I know we didn't get that much done this episode, but. I'll try to get more done in the next two episodes to make up, episodes 18 and 19, to make up for the fact that I didn't get much done this episode. So yeah, that'll be it for this episode, but thank you for watching. I will see you next time. Bye!